Libra Virgo Cuspers. How are you guys? Welcome to Divine Conversations. My name is Eric. Thank you so much for tuning in. So if you're new to the channel, welcome. It's very nice to meet you. And if you're returning, what's up, guys? All right, so check it out. First of all, I'm not using my mic because I figured out that I'm on my old laptop right now and the mic problems that I was having in the past, if you're an OG, you know what I'm talking about. Um, I think that has to do with my USB port on this laptop. And I'm here in Puerto Rico. I'm not, I'm not using my, my other system, my newer system, which is back at home. And I realized that my mic was crapping out on me while I was doing someone's reading. And so now I'm not using it. So there's all kinds of ambient noise. I'm so sorry, but I'd rather you guys hear me consistently rather than getting the, the message chopped up. Also, there's some yard work going on across the way. Um, so I'm sorry if that's distracting, but I want to, I really want to get these readings done for you guys. So we're going to do the best that we can. Yeah. This is for my Libra and Virgo cuspers out there. If you would like to know whether you are a cusper or not, you would need to have been born during the window of the 19th of September through the 25th. Yeah. So I'm doing these readings similar to the way that I did my monthly March readings. I'm using Oracle cards, and then I'll be using the Tarot to get uh, some clarity for you guys, and then I'm going to be pulling some Oracle guidance towards the end. I'm not going to be looking into love yet for this, for this, for this series. If you guys really like this series, you really want me to continue, and you want me to do love for you guys, then I am all about it. Um, I'll probably do it in the next round or at a later time. Okay, so we're looking into your energies for the month of March. Keep in mind that time is an illusion and energies are fluid. So just because this is dated for the month of March, it doesn't mean it absolutely has to resonate for you at that time. Whenever you are guided to watch this reading and it resonates for you, then that's the message for you at that moment. Also keep in mind that this is a general reading. So please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. I could be talking to the cross watcher here. So if you're a cross watcher watching for a Virgo Libra Cusper, and the situation is resonating for you on your end, but I'm speaking to the cusper, then just flip it as it resonates. But also, do not try and fit something in there that does not resonate with your situation. Yes? All right, kids, let's get straight to it. Two, two, two. Ha, ha, ha. Okay. <laughs> Hi, spirit. Please make me a clear channel for all Virgo Libra cuspers at this time. Please bring forward the best messages to serve the highest good of all involved for the month of March, 2020. Thank you so much, Spirit. All right, kids, we're doing five shuffles here. Let's see what we got. One, for my Virgo Libra Cuspers. Two. for the month of March, 2020. Three, what, what is in your energy right now? Four, whoops. We're gonna count that as a shuffle. And five, for my Virgo Libra Cuspers. What do we got for you kids? What's going on for my Virgo Libra Cuspers? Okay. Let's just get your cards out here and then we'll talk about it, yeah? Uh-huh. Woo! Okay, so this already could be something very similar to the Virgo uh, Leo cuspers, which makes sense. I mean, you have Virgo as your common denominator. Um, and let me tell you, there's, some, there's been some crazy shit going on for the Virgos lately across the board, not just for my channel, but for like other channels and all that. And I watch because I'm a Virgo rising. Um, okay. Yes, indeed. All right. Two more cards, please. Spirit for my Virgo Libra cuspers. And, uh, oh shit. Oh shit. Yo, y'all might want to watch. Y'all might want to watch the, the Leo Virgo cusper reading as well. Because you already, you two, you guys have some of the, two of the same cards that the Leo Virgo Cuspers had. Okay, so, but this is for Virgo Libra, right? Um, so, overall energy, you have the fifth chakra, Archangel Gabriel, all right? So there is definitely a need to express yourself, to be more expressive. And I feel like, even though this isn't necessarily a love reading, this is a general reading, we are kind of talking about love here a little bit, okay? 
Um, but I feel like somebody here has been... Has not been... Okay, what I heard, what I just heard was someone has been expressing themselves too quickly or too softly. And it may be that maybe you jumped to expressing yourself a little bit too too fast for someone. Or you're not expressing yourself enough. And like you can't be heard. You're not allowing yourself be heard to be heard. Or this person that you're in deal you're involved with, whether this is love or not, um, whomever you're involved with might not be allowing you to express yourself freely or incur or, or giving you that sense of security so that you can express yourself freely. Um, what you have on the table here, you have the thinking woman, woman holding a heart, envy, which is one of the cards that came out for the Leo Virgo cuspers, the angel of love, walking away, which is the other card that came out for the Leo Virgo cuspers, and man holding a coin. So this is, a this is a dynamic between a masculine and a feminine, whether it's man and woman or two, two women or two men that embody this dynamic of masculine and fem between masculine and feminine. And quite frankly, the energies are really quite aligned quite well with the feminine being the representation of love, affection, and care, and the masculine being the, the representation of physicality and the material world. But it feels like you guys are clashing at this point. It feels like you're clashing. And it feels like somebody here is on the verge of walking away, and yet you have the angels here that are trying to help you heal this situation. Now, the strongest thing that I'm getting here with this angel of love and how they're trying to help you heal this situation, it could be that maybe they're trying to help you save or salvage your marriage or relationship. Also, though, it could be helping somebody here learn a lesson in love. Now, someone may have absolutely walked away, and it could have been the feminine here with this woman holding a heart. It's like she's taking her heart, she's protecting her heart, and she's leaving. And now the angel of love is here trying to work with the masculine to get him to understand why she has left. Now, keep in mind that I'm not speaking to gender. I'm, I'm just, I'm speaking to energy, all right? So... Whatever, wherever you fall in this dynamic between masculine and feminine, place it there. Now, at the same time, conversely, what I'm getting is that the angel of love here is working with the feminine in trying to understand what true love is and how to express yourself in this connection. Looky here, now we have the thinking man underneath that with the sun. That's interesting. Now, in some cases, the masculine could be here. Now, what the, the, the angel of love could be helping the masculine with is learning how to express himself with this thinking man energy and the sun, illuminating the ways and the, 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 the journey towards being able to express himself, right? We also have adjacent possibilities that are, that is a, a, a topic here. So there could be a way that if you if 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 a relationship has has huh, I heard blown apart or has um yeah taken two steps back you know you take one step forward and two steps back and all that adjacent possibilities is here to remind you that things can work out in ways that you couldn't even fathom your conscious mind or your ego wouldn't even be able to come up with because it seems that there's a lot of anxiety here. Okay. I mean, I, underneath that is cornucopia. I could, I literally could keep going, but um, either this relationship could come back together, or this situationship, I guess we should say, could come back together in some really miraculous ways. Or with this angel of love here, learning, teaching you guys how to love each other or yourselves better, which could be preparing you for another relationship. The angel of love could be helping you towards that, okay? There is abundance here, regardless of what the circumstances are. I am feeling strongly that the angel of love, in the way that this storyline has gone out, has, has worked out, 
the angel of love is really helping con helping someone understand the reason why he or she needs to walk away from this situation from this person that's really just focused on money and finances and status and the way things look rather than truly honestly love being in a loving relationship you do have envy here and I feel like whomever has been walked away from could be the envious one for sure because it seems like as it seems like you someone expressing themselves here has really shed some light on something and it's causing someone to think and it's causing someone to walk towards adjacent possibilities which is giving that person anxiety the other person anxiety because look you're walking towards a cornucopia this really could resonate with this really is feeling very similar to the the Leo Virgo Cusper reading all right and so because someone is walking towards this cornucopia we've got envious energy from whomever is being walked away from okay I want to get into the tarot now and I want to look into this envy <clears throat> there also and now also what I'm getting here is that there really could be envy because not only could someone be walking away from from a point of view of like protecting their own heart but also being very consciously aware of what's going on in this situation at that at like for some people at some point this is like there's no denying the fact that something needs to be left behind. And it feels strongly, it feels very strongly, that this has to do with protecting your heart. And the angels have really been guiding you, or the angel of love here has been really been guiding you towards this. Okay. But let's look at the tarot here for you. And I want to look at envy. And then I'm feeling nosy, and we're going to look in this manner, the holy a coin, yeah? Okay. I just feel like whomever this is, this man holding a coin, he is, he or she, it doesn't matter. It's just, it's a masculine energy. But this person is way too caught up in money, status, material possessions, how things look on paper, how things are perceived by other people. Very much, and it could be that their life is based on the approval of others, and so they need to keep a certain image. And you know what? That's fine. But obviously, this does not resonate with this person. Okay? It's holding them back in some way. And this person really here really could be very envious because of the fact that whomever is walking away here, I think I might have said this already, but I want to say it again. Whomever is walking away from here is really walking into an energy where they can fully express themselves. They can fully be who they truly are. And this person cannot because he's bound by the circumstances that he or she plays to. Okay? I mean, I really do think I just defined what this envy is, but I want to get into the tarot and see. One last shuffle. And then we'll see what we've got for you, okay? We'll see. Woo! Take these three cards. All right. Shit. Overall energy is the Six of Swords. You're leaving rough waters behind for calmer waters. And what I'm hearing with this, this being the Three of Cups, the Queen of Cups, and the Knight of Pentacles, you've finally taken your power back. And it feels, and this Three of Cups energy feels like a celebration within yourself, but also I'm hearing on behalf of the universe towards you because you're really putting value in your emotions in how you feel in your even in your intuition your emotional well-being and stability is more important to you right now than someone else's opinion and that someone is getting really envious and jealous because you're honoring yourself and not them that's what i just heard and you're deciding to cut your losses and move on with the six of swords because you have found greater balance within and you're not dealing with this bullshit any longer keep in mind this person as you move forward this could person could be watching you with the page of swords because they know you are walking right towards your cornucopia ten of cups and they're still stuck in this stagnant energy with the king of pentacles there could be an energy of them trying to come back and apologize and wow
There could be an energy of them trying to come back and apologize. But what I want to tell you is I would advise you against that. Because what you have underneath that page of cups is the ace of cups and the king of cups to your queen of cups. So you, by valuing your emotions, valuing your feelings, valuing, valuing yourself, and slowly but surely walking on and moving on and rebuilding your life, you are in fact going to connect with your cornucopia, your king of cups, the king to your queen. And the marriage could ensue. Okay? I'm going to put all that back. At least all the stuff that came out on the bottom. I'm going to reshuffle because now I want to look at this king of pentacles or man holding a coin, yes? All right, so what is eight of pentacles? Yeah, what is this man holding a coin? Um, okay, well, this situation has been somewhat of a wake-up call for this person. We do have the Six of Cups at the bottom of the deck. This was probably a karmic situation. Yes, I just heard it was a karmic situation. But this really could have been a bit of... Wow, this is a lot. Yeah. What I feel like here is this person was just really... Fo like I was saying before, this person is really focused on work and the material aspects of life and wasn't really giving too much care or consideration to the emotional aspects or wasn't nurturing the relationship. And thus, change is coming about because somebody walked away. And it's become very clear to this person. This has been a wake-up call. And I feel like, regardless of whether they're letting you know or not, they know exactly why heartbreak has built in this relationship. And it took somebody walking away for them to finally wake up in some way. And I mean like fully, completely, 100%, I am never coming back walking away. So this could very well have been a karmic relationship, or at least this was a karmic cycle within that relationship. Okay? I mean, this could even be a friendship. But I will say, with this Six of Cups in reverse, and which is interesting that this is in reverse, because nothing else is in reverse. But with this Six of Cups in reverse, what I feel like the karmic baggage between the two of you is done. Especially with the, with the Wheel of Fortune. Release the karmic baggage. Let go completely, 100%. The karma is completed. The cycle is completed. Never, have to, never to resurface again. But that's also because of the cognitive or the, 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 the logical thinking that has come from this situation. Because whomever is walking away here really learned a valuable lesson in taking care of themselves and their heart. And so they're never going to allow a situation like this to really enter their lives again. And if it does, it's not going to last very long because you're, you're going to see it really quickly. And it would behoove you, especially if you don't want to recreate the cycle, it would behoove you to not entertain it anymore. But I really do feel like you won't be entertaining it anymore, okay? All right, let's close this out. Let's get some oracle guidance for you from the Moonology deck, yes? Yeah, I highly recommend that you guys watch the Leo Virgo Cusper reading because this seat feels very similar. All right, let's see what the Moonology deck has for you guys to close out this reading. What do you have from my Virgo Libra Cuspers? And I really didn't feel like what I was picking up on in before, in the beginning of the reading that I actually forgot to mention. With this thinking woman energy, the Libra aspect of your cusp situation is really dominant in this. It's really kicking in at this point, okay? The balancing aspect of Libra. Where is the balance? Woo! One more. Oh, oh, oh shit. One more, sh okay, one more shuffle, they're saying. I didn't even realize there were a ton, of, there was like a few cards out here already. Ah, there we go. Ah, ha, 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 ha. Overall energy, third quarter moon. Adjustments are required. But you see here, 
you are, like I said, you are very close to reaching your goal. And that goal is the union between this king and queen of cups. There it is, right there. Someone that meets you on an emotional level, that you can see eye to eye with, that understands you emotionally, or at least wants to care for you and nurture you emotionally. Yeah. You also have a time for healing, a fiery climax approaches, confidence is your key to success, and nothing is set in stone. And what I'm getting with this nothing is set in stone energy here is like you don't have to stay in a marriage or a relationship that's no longer working for you. You have the freedom to walk away from a situation that is toxic. But you have to make the choice to do so. Now also, also, what this nothing is yet set in stone, just because you are someone here is walking away from a relationship or a situation with intentions of never returning again, that doesn't mean that things couldn't shift in the future to make it so that this actually can work. And that's what we see here with somebody getting the wake-up call as to why this relationship didn't work. Okay? Or at least the current structure of the relationship didn't work. All right, guys. So there you have it. I'm going to leave it there. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope this was helpful for you. Uh, if you'd like a look into your own personal situation, please don't hesitate to email me. All the information is in the description box below. But with that said, I hope you guys have a great month. And I look forward to connecting with you again, most likely for the month of April. Yeah? Take care. Bye.